डिस्क at the top upper end the lower end this so i have explained to you so you should have the inner radius inner radius of the measurement this will be uh, same as the inner radius of the cylinder this one and uh, this is equal to 1.5 and if we consider the outer radius so this outer radius i'm taking it to be capital r This is the inner radius 1.5 plus the width 4, and that is equal to 4.5. So uh, these were the dimensions that we have today for uh, different two figures. Now the earth taken out from this cylindrical well, it is going to be spread in the form of the embankment. You can see the embankment. I explained it uh, on the previous day that uh, it is in the form of cylinder. You can say so. Our thing to be as Earth taken out from well is is to be spread is to be spread upon it spread upon it in the form of embankment. Therefore. Volume of cylindrical well. Therefore, volume of well. This is equal to volume of embankment. Volume of well is equal to volume of embankment. So, as far as well is concerned, it's very much clear that it is cylinder. Its volume will be pi uh, small r and h square h. And as far as this embankment is concerned, you know uh, this embankment it is having uh, some height as well, and we want to find that height only. हमें वो height define करनी है तो सबसे पहले यहाँ पे एक electric का step भी हम लिख लेते हैं. Let capital H be the height of the embankment. Height of the embankment. Capital H be the height of the embankment. So when you want to find the, uh, you can say volume of certain thing of which you are not uh, knowing the dimension 3D form me. जैसे कि आपके पास L into B into H हो जाता है 3D form में R and H हमें हमने क्या uh, उसका method सीखा हुआ है how to find the volume volume is area of base into height ये formula होता है ना हमारे पास concept which is working behind the volume is area of base into height Right. So let us see the values. Chali. This is pi r square h is equal to area of base. You know the base of embankment. It is a circular base. And what we get is area area of outer circle minus area of inner circle. That means pi capital R square minus pi small r square. This is the area of the disc, which is going to be the base of embankment. Into pi, pi we have taken it to be capital H. So now that we see pi here, it will be R square H is equal to capital R square minus small R square into H. Right? Now let us replace the values. This we will be having as R square that is one point five square into H that is forty. This is equal to capital R square. That means four point five square minus or uh, small R square, and uh, this is minus one point five square, and uh, into H H so many more. So this is the way we will proceed further for calculations. So we will be having two point four five into forty is equal to two point two five into forty is equal to. 
Of the embankment. This is one point one point nine five two point two five into with radius only it one is one point five five. Four point five is the outer radius. Four point five. Calculation ek baar check karna. Iski answer one point one two five hai. Anyone who is doing calculation side by side. Anshika, have you placed masses in the group? Still, I'm looking at there is only, I mean, very less trend today. What happened for the day? Calculations, एक बार चेक करो. One point one two five आंसर आ रहा है. So I'm giving the calculation to you. See if you can solve and see अगर सर. Some here, uh, some mistake in the calculation is there. You will see and see what where the fault lies. Check the nice calculation. Chill. Next one. सेम लिया हमने हाइट को भी फोर्टी टू लिया है नेट फोर्टी टू अच्छा एक अंदर होने तुम्हें न्यू पीपल और एनी ऑफ द गार्डन या कंपनी में भी पॉजिटिव और कंप्यूटर सोल्यूशन राइट आई पुट वन मैसेज इन द ग्रुप इफ यू आर कमिंग यू ब्रिंग द योर मैच होल्डेज होमवर्क एस वेल बिकॉज़ अदरवाइज यू हैव टू so you know mass holidays homework it was consisting of one project file containing two activities and one formula sheet that is going to put in your portfolio right so deposit it along with your computer uh, project to today positively otherwise i will give you the different schedule but that will be difficult for you so better hai aage kyunki dena to padega hi holidays homework aapko or physically you have to give because we have to give the record to board accordingly on the basis of which you will get in turn the system So, anyhow, question number five. Fifth question. Let us see. Fifth question is: A container is shaped like a right circular cylinder having diameter twelve centimeter, height fifteen centimeter, full of ice cream. Container is in the form of a cylinder having height to be twelve centi. Ah, uh, sorry, fifteen centimeter. And the diameter of the base is twelve. It is filled with ice cream. It is filled with ice cream. Uh, the no, the the container is filled with ice cream. The ice cream is to be filled into the cones of height twelve centimeter. Ice cream is to be filled in the cone of height twelve centimeter. And diameter six centimeter. Diameter of the cone is six centimeter, 
and uh, moreover this cone is having uh, one uh, hemispherical shape on the top like this so container se ice cream jo hai uski help se cones they are to be filled so we are having the two uh, geometrical uh, 3d figures here so first of all let us con uh, concentrate on its dimension usne mujhe find the number of cones which can be filled with the ice cream you know when i i say that i am having uh, some copies and i want to distribute the uh, among the, the class among some group of people so how many people will get the two question you might ask me that what what is the total number of copies you are having okay and then you will say how many copies you are giving to one child one child only then you can get to know that how many children will get the benefit of my distribution similarly if there is total ice cream in this cylindrical container and we have to find the number of cones two things are required here first of all you will see that how much total ice cream is available that is the volume of cylinder and how much ice cream is going to be filled in the cone that is equal to volume of the cone when the two things are fine total ice cream divided by volume of one cone that means ice cream contained in one cone will be to give you the number of cones so i'm telling the dimensions for it first we are discussing cylinder its uh, diameter is 12 so its radius is 36 and its height is Okay. Yoga yeah. and in cone there are two geometrical figures which are involved. One is the conical part. If you consider the cone, its uh, height is. I am taking different abbreviations. Height is x and uh, diameter of the different thing capital D is six and uh, radius capital R is three. This is the conical part. And if we are talking about hemispherical part, hemisphere. Which is uh, at the top of the cone. If we consider that also, you can see that this hemisphere it is having the same uh, uh, radius as that of the cone. So, ah, uh, this is the same. That is. So, these are the dimension of the different figures which are involved in the question. So, let us uh, proceed further. So, first of all, we will find total ice cream that. container contain is equal to volume of container cylinder okay ice cream cylinder mein hai so this is equal to volume of cylinder so replacing the formula this is pi r square h okay <coughs> or uh, this will be actually humne divide karna hai to pi usme bhi aayega pi hamara paas hai पाई को रहने देते हैं पुट करने के लिए पाई इनटू सिक्स स्क्वायर इनटू एच पर टाइम भी नहीं भी दाज़ देते ठीक है सो इस तो अब आइसक्रीम कंटेन आइसक्रीम कंटेन इन वन कंटेनर आह सॉरी वन कोन इज़ इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम ऑफ कॉनिकल पार्ट प्लस Volume of conical part. Volume of conical part plus volume of hemispherical part. So if we see the conical part, its volume is you can see one by three pi r square. Conical part means the radius of capital R over into capital H plus hemispherical part two by three pi r cube. Right. So further, we'll take common. So we will be having. Ah, uh, यहाँ से हम common ले सकते हैं one by three pi and R square. This can be taken as common. So on inside will be x plus two ah. ये अंदर pi की value भी निकाल कर देंगे हम. बाकी सारा निकाल कर देंगे. pi r square r capital r equal to b square so capital x can be equal plus 2 capital r is so that's further equal to 1 by 3 into pi into 9 12 plus 6 this is the 9 this is 3 pi into 18 so this is 64 pi now it will be 
So this much ice cream is contained in one cone. We want to find the number of cones. So we we'll write therefore number of cones is equal to total ice cream. Total ice cream upon volume of one cone. So. Total ice cream from equation number one you can take. This is pi six square into pi. This is the total ice cream over the ice cream contained in one container. Then it that is one point one four. That is fifty four pi. So pi pi get cancelled. So we will be having. Thirty six into five upon fifty four. Can you answer? The thing is, when we were finding out the volume of the cone ice cream contained, we had height fifteen, because we had five. That's why the calculation was done in the wrong way. So you can see ten cones are there. Once again, I am announcing as you are coming to submit your computers all these homework. So do bring your math files as well as math project that is compulsory to uh, deposit physical. To be deposited to physical. Chal. Let us start with the next question. Question number six. Six question. Look. How many silver coins, one point seven five mm, uh, centimeter in diameter, and of thickness two mm, must be melted to form a cuboid of dimension this? So we are having two things. One is the silver coin. Length, breadth, and height. So length, breadth, height, or the 
void, we are given to be 5.5 and and this is 3.5. ठीक है लेकिन void के लिए अच्छा है. So अगर हम point की बात करें, so we can see uh, <coughs> diameter is 1.75. Diameter is 1.75 and uh, so is radius. This is 1.75 to 1.25. Divide by that, cutting by two hundred. Okay. So, its height to hai, that is 2 mm. Let us convert in in centimeter. 2 by 10 centimeter and that is equal to 0.2 centimeter. So, this we have discussed about the uh, cylindrical point according to the given dimensions and this is these are the dimensions of the body. So let us now see that what the question is. Question says that how many such points are needed to form this cuboid, right? So uh, suppose a point let n points are needed needed to form cuboid of Given dimensions, void of given dimensions. So you can see the void of given dimension. So it's not the view of the volume of n points. This is equal to volume of the void. अगर Eight pastries से मिलके एक cake बन रहा है, तो इसका मतलब volume of eight pastries is equal to volume of one cake. Similarly, volume of n points is equal to volume of a cuboid. So, n points points का volume that it is in the form of cylinder. So, you will be having pi r square. इसको capital letter से small h आप cuboid के case में use कर सकते हो. So, this is pi r square capital H and this is equal to l into p into n. Right? So, let us take into n. N points का volume है. So, we are taking n points. So, n into pi r square h. So further, it is equal to n into pi is twenty two by seven, and the r radius one point seven five upon two square into h. H is zero point two is equal to l into p into h. That is five point five into ten into twenty two. Yeah, my class. Okay, let's go on for the solve. This is n into twenty two upon seven. Into one point seven five upon two two times one point seven five upon two, and into zero point two is equal to five point five into ten into three. Yes. Yeah. ठीक है. So we'll do the calculations further. कटिंग कटिंग हो जाएगी यहाँ पे, so two जो है हमारे नीचे, वो इसके साथ eleven हुआ, इसके साथ zero point five, ये seven भी इसको काट देगा, zero point two five, so you will be having eleven into zero point two five into one point seven five into zero point one And the yes answer is one more. This is equal to five point five into ten into three point five. Yes. चलिए इसको फर्दर सॉल्व करते हैं. N is needed. So I am giving it on the other side. ताकि बड़ी हो जाए. Five point five into ten into three point five. And these all things will be coming the denominator. Eleven. Into zero point two five into one point seven five into zero. Calculations I am giving to you. You will do it, and you will get four hundred. That's when I am cutting it. Na, sara kuch cancel out ho jayega. I am taking us four hundred. Jo is the answer. Right? Let us start with the next question. That is question number seven. 
There is a cylindrical bucket, 32 centimeter high, and with radius of base 80 centimeter. One is cylindrical bucket. So, you know, you know, you know, must have that you realize that the, before reading the full statement, whatever figures are given to me, I'm uh, going to write their dimensions. So that is one way to deal with this question. So this is height is 32 centimeter and Radius of the base is 18 centimeters. Okay. This cylindrical bucket is 46 further. It is filled with sand. It's very great, very clear. And this bucket is emptied on the ground in the form of a conical tree. You know that when you pour down the sand, it always takes the shape of a cone. So you can have conical tree of sand. Okay, so ski dimension we have here. If the height of the conical heap is 24, I'm taking it to be capital X, small x, I know what it is. And uh, he says, if so, then find the radius, capital R, and the slant height of the conical heap. These two things are. Uh, once again, the same concept we are going to use is that, that one shape is converted into the another shape, the volume remains the same. If you are having sand inside the bucket and you are pouring down it um, on the ground, you can well imagine that the quantity of the sand will remain the same. So I am going, going to write volume of bucket, this is equal to volume of conical heap. Volume of conical heap. So, put the values, bucket ka volume, pi r square h, conical heap ka volume, 1 by 3 pi, capital R square, capital H, pi pi get cancelled. So, this is r square h, 1 by 3, into capital R square H. <coughs> so this will be 18 square into H 32. This is 1 by 3 capital R square we want to find and capital X is given to be 22. So this is the that is equal. So 18 into 18 into 32 divided by this A comes out to be R square. So this Right. So 18 into 18 into 4. No, I am solving it because square will come here, will become square root, and out of doublet we can have one number also. So this is 18 into 18 into 4. This is equal to R. Out of 2 18, 18 is out, and the 4 plus square we all know that is 2. So 36 is the value of R. So R ki value of the first 36 R H you are having with you. And L you can find by using the formula relation between L, H, and R. So if you see, you know, L square, this is equal to H square plus R square. So you can have this L square, H square, capital H square. That was, I think, we were having the height of the heap to be 24. This is 24 square plus 36 square. So when you will solve it, this whole calculation will uh, need you to square top 1832, 72, and uh, L 1872 other than L other than square root of 1872. And when you will do this square root uh, using the prime factorization, point of answer at the point, the other square root ka saath me aapko mention kiya ho only then. Otherwise, you will see using prime factorization, this is 12 root 37. So conical E has stand height of 30 and it is having the radius to be 36. Right? So let us start with the next question. Question number 8. Water in a canal 6 meter wide and 1.5 meter deep is 
फ्लोइंग एट द रेट ऑफ स्पीड ऑफ टेन किलोमीटर पर आर एक नदी में इस तरह से हम अगर देखते ये हमारी नदी है तो तो इस नदी में जो कि सिक्स मीटर वाइड है एंड वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर डीप है इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द डेप्थ दिस इज वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर एंड सिक्स मीटर वाइड वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर डीप पानी जो है वो इस स्पीड के साथ बह रहा है इसमें Water is flowing in this uh, river at the speed of ten kilometer per hour. Ten kilometer per hour की speed से पानी बह रहा है. How much area will it irrigate in thirty minutes if eight centimeter of standing water is built? How much area it will irrigate in thirty minutes if eight centimeter of standing water is needed? इस नदी के पानी से किसी field को की irrigation is to be done, right? So the question is, with the water of this river, thirty minutes में जितना पानी ये river बहाएगी, उस पानी से एक field है हमारे पास. इस फील्ड का कितना एरिया हाउ मच एरिया ऑफ दिस फील्ड विल बी इरिगेटेड इफ ऑलरेडी एट सेंटीमीटर वाटर इज स्टैंडिंग स्टैंडिंग कंडीशन में पड़ा हुआ पानी खड़ा एट सेंटीमीटर की हाइट तक का पानी ऑलरेडी इज देयर क्वेश्चन समझने की जरूरत है कि हमारे पास नदी में से पानी बह रहा है 30 मिनट में इन 30 मिनट द क्वांटिटी ऑफ वाटर व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम दिस रिवर इज गोइंग टू इरिगेट सम फील्ड then how much area this uh, river in 30 minutes will able to irrigate in such a field with this condition where 8 cm of the water have already been uh, you can say heighted kitni unchai pe pani pehle hi khada hai aapne dekha hoga the uh, you can see jo rice ka unhone kiya hota hai uh, cropping usme standing form mein water is already there wo standing form mein pani itna rehta hi rehta hai बाकी जो इरिगेशन के लिए चाहिए वो तो चाहिए ही है इसी तरह से फील्ड में एट सेंटीमीटर पानी की हाइट ऑलरेडी है एंड वी वांट टू सी दैट हाउ मच एरिया इज नाउ दिस रिवर इज आल्सो हैविंग वन सोर्स फ्रॉम विच द वाटर इज कमिंग एंड दैट इज चलो फिर कंटिन्यू टू मॉडल इसको कल डिस्कस करेंगे प्लीज डू ब्रिंग योर मैथ्स हॉलीडेज होमवर्क एज वेल एज यू आर गोइंग टू डिपॉजिट योर कंप्यूटर्स हॉलीडेज होमवर्क इन स्कूल विद